vlog. It's been a long time coming, long off season. And I'm ready to kick it off, guys. I'm excited. Today is Friday, August 8th. Vikings preseason game tonight. Got the camcorder going on now. Do more vlogs. Today I am actually, it's my grandma's birthday as well today. I have to leave my house at 7.30. The game starts at 5, but I have to leave my house at 7.30 over to this Mexican restaurant. You know, I have to go to my grandma's birthday, of course, but I get to watch pretty much the majority of the game. I might have to leave at the end of the fourth quarter. Um, we'll see what's up, though. Either way, I'll recap of what I missed. I don't think much is going to go on. The two players I'm excited to see on the field the most today is Derek Carr and Khalil Mack. Of course, I'm excited to see Raider football in general, but Khalil Mack, and Derek Carr can be the future defense leader and offense leader. I just want to see what Derek Carr looks like getting some reps during the second, third quarter. I'm around the corner from my buddy AJ's house right now. This is my brother right here. This is my brother and we're going to be doing Raider Mecca this year together. And uh, he lives around the block for me. I'll show you guys the view of where I'm driving to. Let's pick this bitch up right now. He's going to be chilling with me for the Vikings game. He's also doing the Raider Mecca event. He's my camera guy. He's not really camera savvy, but it'll work. He's been my brother for like eight years, nine years. We've been through a lot of shit together. Let's see. Here's his pad. I don't know. That bitch ain't outside yet. The hog. The fleet hog is here. AJ. Westwood. Westwood. He's got the Westwood T on. Westwood on him. Thing like that. That's crazy. <laughs> we need to take some shots, huh? Yeah. Uh, For the YouTube channel. Oh, God. The YouTube oh, channel. look who. Is it him? Is, there, is it the black and silver way? You got it. Oh. You got Hey, what's going on Raider Nation? Welcome to another video for the Black and Silver Way. Today is August 8th, and as you guys know, we lost to the Minnesota Vikings 10-6 to today for our first preseason matchup. There was a lot of high expectations, and we were all dying to see some Raider football, especially with all the new faces that we have on our team. And we were just ready to pretty much go out there and whip some ass, especially playing the Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota Vikings came out looking very strong in the first quarter of the game. We came out looking very sloppy. Uh, let me go ahead and get into the offensive side of the ball first over the, the defense. Um, first of all, the offense, the first time we got a snap on the ball at all, the first play of the season, Menelik Watson had a false start. So that's not a good way to start the season. The main thing that this game had, guys, the main thing that I noticed we were just horrible on. We backtracked back to the 2008 Raiders was the damn penalties. What was going on with the penalties? We gave over 100 yards worth the penalties. Full start holding false start holding false start holding we need to see more discipline dennis allen we need to see more discipline we need to see more fire you need to kick it into overdrive i seen uh, you know it's a preseason game don't get me wrong you can't take it too serious it's a preseason game but when we are pretty much not doing anything offensively four to five drives and you see all the Donald Penn, you see all these fucking free agents, all these veterans just laughing, having a good time. We looked like shit out there today. It was actually pretty embarrassing. It looks like we pretty much got left off where we left off from last year, okay? Uh, it was very hard to watch. I know that it's a preseason game, but it doesn't matter, guys. We weren't producing nothing on the field. I saw very rare, very rare good stuff. I mean, it was, it was really hard to watch. I really was. I expected a lot more today. And we barely were able to get a touchdown from Matt McGloin running it. Our offense just looked like shit. Oh, man. You know, it was hard to watch. Hopefully, they shape it up. They said it was just getting the kinks out. I know it's not the end of the world. But I'm going to let you know what I saw What was bad. False start. False start holding. False start holding. That's what I seen with that. Matt Schaub, let's go ahead and see what we had with Matt Schaub. Matt Schaub, he didn't look that bad. Matt Schaub looked like he was putting the money on the ball, but it doesn't fucking matter. Michael Rivera couldn't catch a ball to save his life today. Michael Rivera dropped every damn pass practically that he had. So I don't know what was going on with Michael Rivera. He didn't even catch a pass. Andre Holmes looking like a damn veteran. I'm telling you, Andre Holmes making some hard catches. Schaub, I think, was 3 for 7, 21 yards. He pretty much didn't do shit. 
but it's okay. We're going to see more of Schaub later on. We'll, we'll see later on down the line in preseason him get more time in the game. He barely got one quarter, and we looked horrible. Um, the, you know, uh, Derek Carr came in in the second quarter, and that was good to see. Finally, I was really into what Derek Carr was going to do. And uh, he was looking really good, cocking back, throwing. He had a nice throw. He has a nice stance. But it seemed like every time he'd throw it, it was over or under, over or under, over or under. So hopefully he just needs to shar sharpen up a little bit because he looked like he had more passion and excitement. And he was actually moving the ball on the offense a lot more than what Schaub was doing. So that was good to see. Derek Carr was pretty much giving this offense some life. But at the same time, he was very inaccurate today but you know it's only the first game so let's just hope that he just gets better with his throwing uh, let's talk about Matt McGloin came in Matt McGloin was pretty much the only person that got us on the board and he looked like where he left off from last year he looks like he could be a great passer but at the same time he's really short that's what really sucks for Matt McGloin he gets a lot of his passes batted down and uh, you know Matt McGloin I love the kid and I hope he's the definitely the underdog in our quarterbacking. But I'm just hoping that he can stick it out and maybe prove something to us because he does have the passion for it. And uh, let's go ahead and get into Maurice Jones-Drew. He pretty much was the starter for this game. He came in first, and Maurice Jones-Drew was looking pretty nice. He had a couple, you know, 5 to 10 yard runs, but of course they got held back by holding. Holding, 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 penalty, penalty, penalty. I don't know what was going on with the penalties. Also, Darren McFadden broke, I think, for a 15, 20-yard run on his first touch. He just ran out and exploded all over the Vikings defense. That was nice to see because I told you guys Darren McFadden was looking very well in camp. So you can see that that transferred over with an explosion uh, run from Darren McFadden. It was about 15 yards and a stiff arm. It looked like the old DMC for a quick glance there. Um... You know, another person that we sleep on and we pretty much always forget about because Marcel Reese is one of the best fullback in the league, but you always forget about Amiz Alawale. He's been on our team for about a year or two now, and he has been a quiet guy in the background that every time he gets a touch, he's very fast and explosive. But he ended up getting a pass from Derek Carr, and he ran out about 10 yards, and he finally ran out of bounds on accident. So... That was kind of cool to see. I didn't really see Rod Streeter get any touches that much this game. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and get into defense. Defense of the ball, we got ripped up. This defense had a lot of vets coming in, and it was a lot. Of, I thought we were going to get a couple sacks, which we did, but it was later on in the game. First off, Teddy um, Matt Castle was ripping our ass up. Matt Castle ripped us up real fast, and they got a quick touchdown right off the bat in the beginning of the game. It was a hole in the side of the defense, a hole on the other side of the defense. I was concerned for a point in time. I was like, well, I don't know what the hell is going on, but they need to get their heads out their ass and get into the game because this guy, Matt Castle, Matt Castle was ripping us up from the Vikings. Come on now. You know, I'm not going to, you know, go on this big rant or anything, guys, because it's only the first game. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, there's. I, I thought it was going to be a little better than that, though. That's all I have to say. You know, I was a little, expecting a little more out of the team. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this first game. I will be at the Lions game coming up here. And um, I'm, I just hope that they do a way better game than that. Hopefully they get a win. It's going to be right there in Oakland. So hopefully they can pull a win out. And I think the one, the two players that were the most positive today, in my opinion, on the defense side of the ball, since DJ Hayden is out, Chimdi Chakwa came in. He did his job. He was playing aggressive. He was playing good man-to-man -to -man today. I know a lot of you guys seen Chimdi Chakwa batting down a few passes, putting pressure on the wide receivers. He's doing a good job. It's his third year on the Oakland Raiders. He was his right-hand man that he got drafted with, Demarcus Van Dyke. He was back from 2012 or the yeah 2012 season. It might have been 2000, 2011 or 2012. He is learning to be an elite cornerback, and now that DJ Hayden's out, we need players to step up, and I think that Chimney Checkwell is going to earn himself a starting position next to Terrell Brown. So it's really exciting to see that Chimney Checkwell is finally shaping up and to be the corner that we knew he could be because I've known that Chimney Checkwell has been trying, trying, trying as much as he can to get better and move up on our roster. And the person on offense that I saw that was really nice was Derek Carr. Derek Carr 
put some life into the offense, was cocking back. He had a really good motion. He did complete a good amount of passes, but at the same time, they were either high or low. And he got his first interception today. He threw a high ball, or popped up, and the safety caught it. I forgot who it was on the on the Vikings, but he got his first interception today. It wasn't his fault, technically, because he didn't really overthrow it, but he did throw it high, and it was the receiver's fault. Um, that's it pretty much give my input on that sorry it took me a while I was drinking at the bar for the last couple hours with my friends and I just got back in right here at the house so like comment and subscribe on the video let me know your guys's feelings about this first game getting our feet wet in the preseason hopefully like I said this next week we could have better football because I know that that this team can be better than what they did tonight because all I saw was penalty after penalty drop pass after drop pass it just looked like they were kind of scared. They looked like they were scared, and it was kind of like they were really nervous. There was a lot of new faces. I'm just hoping that this team could gel together before September for, uh, before September 8th, I think it is, when we play the Jets for the season opener. So, um, you know, let me know how you guys feel. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. <laughs>